Hello, I'm Robert Coker with Maintenance Division. This is our new Hamatro SR20 power unit and the Hamatro 4150 combination cutter and spreader. These tools will be going on our engine companies. Uh, we currently have about eight in the field right now. As we're able to buy new engines, we're getting new tools with the engines. So they will be put out accordingly. At this time, I want to introduce Jason Bell with Hamatro. He's our, our uh, factory rep. Uh, he's going to be going over the tools and how they operate, and how to connect them, how to start them, and some basic maintenance on them. Hi, I'm Jason Bell with Hamatro Rescue Equipment. Been asked to go over the SR20 PC2 power unit and 4150 combi tool that's going to be going on some of the apparatus here. Uh, First thing is the pump. This is a two outlet hydraulic pump using our core technology. You have a 32 foot core hose and the combi tool. The, the pump itself is very similar to the other ones that are now in service here. It'll run two tools at one time. It doesn't interrupt using one side or the other. Uh, it doesn't matter which side you're plugged into. <clears throat> First thing we'll go over is a morning truck check with the pump. Um, First off bat would be your fuel check. On the, the black tank is the fuel tank. Um, it is a vented cap, so unscrew the cap, check the fuel level, keep it full of straight gasoline fuel. Uh, not, it's not a mixed fuel. Um, it has the fuel capacity to run for about two and a half hours on a tank of fuel. Uh, the idle on the pump is set. It does have an idle valve on it, a throttle valve, but there's no need to adjust that. Uh, leave it at full throttle all the time. Um, it is locked down, so if you do check your pump and find the throttle to be loose or adjustable, notify maintenance so they can tighten that back up um, because it should stay on high idle all the time. Uh, the hydraulic fluid is in the orange tank. We use only Homatro hydraulic oil. Don't use any mixtures or anything substituted for that. Get it from your maintenance or from a Homatro maintenance technician. There's a level indicator on the side of the tank uh, with a maximum minimum range to work in. When you're checking this, make sure the position of your tool, uh, it should be almost fully closed uh, with about a quarter inch or so between the tips. Uh, that will indicate uh, the amount of fluid in the tool. The problem is if you check it with the tool open, you may get a false reading on the level. You fill it up with hydraulic fluid plug the tool in and close it, and that will then fill the tank back up and overfill it. Uh, this vented cap will then vent fluid to the atmosphere. If that does happen, it's not a maintenance issue. It's, it's equaled itself out. Uh, you'll just have a, a small mess to clean up. But you know, check the fluid again with the tool in the partially uh, open position. Once you've checked the, the levels, move down and check the uh, motor oil level. We use a straight 30 weight um, small engine oil. Uh, there's a port actually on either side you can check, unscrew it. There's a dipstick that will show you operating range. Uh, keep that in check. Once you've done that, there's an on-off switch located here below the, the fuel tank. If you reach in without looking, there's, you'll feel an uh, indicator on the switch. If the indicator is pointing over toward the pull rope, then it's in the on position. Um, it is an easy start engine, so there's no need to jerk on it. You can actually damage it by jerking on it. It's just one smooth pull. Um, may take a couple of pulls to prime it, and you're ready to start. Um, once it's running, the choke is located on top of the carburetor. You can turn that to, to half choke, let it run for a minute or so, and then all the way over to, to completely off. Uh, during your morning truck checks, it's best to let the pump run between 5 and 10 minutes to get fully warmed up. That also burns any carbon off of the uh, spark plug, it keeps that from becoming a problem in the future. Uh, what we recommend is when you begin your truck check, pull your small engines off and start those and let them run while you continue the rest of the check. When you completed your other equipment, then shut your small engines off and that gives them time to warm up. You can then top the fuel off and put them back in service. <clears throat> On top of the uh, carburetor right behind it, you can also find the fuel valve. It's indicated um, as in on or off position. Uh, at this department, uh, recommendation is for you to turn the fuel off when you 
complete uh, your operation of the unit, let the unit run about another 15 or 20 seconds, not till it shuts off, just another 15 or 20 seconds, and then turn the uh, unit back off. That, that uh, removes any excess fuel from the fuel lines and uh, will, will keep you from having uh, flooding issues from bouncing around in the trucks. Um, remember to turn that fuel back on when you start it. Uh, the front half of the pump is your, your tool connection end. As I showed earlier, there's two outlets with dust caps on them. The dust caps are removed by quarter turning the uh, collar on the coupling and pushing it toward the pump. There's an indicator arrows on there to indicate how that operation works. Again, either side for you will, uh, will work when the pump is running. There is no dump valve on the pump. It is like all the rest of your Homatro equipment. It utilizes our core technology, which doesn't need an on-off valve. So if the pump is running, these outlets are hot and ready for use. Um, connecting the hose, these come with 32-foot hoses, <coughs> standard length for, for Dallas Fire Department. Uh, they have a male and a female end, dust caps on each end. On the male end that plugs into the pump, just pull it straight off, line it up, and plug it in to the pump system. Um, you're now flowing fluid out to the end of the hose, and it's returning back to the pump. Um, if you were to have an issue with being able to hook up a hose, you couldn't plug it in for some reason, um, you know, very unlikely, but possibly could have pressure in the hose from temperature changes or other conditions. Uh, there is a device mounted onto the pump. This we refer to as the PRD or pressure relief device. It will work on the hose on the male end or on the tool. It works by sliding over the male coupler and then tightening down, you'll feel some resistance if there's pressure, continue to tighten until it bottoms out and that will relieve any pressure in the hose or tool. Again, very infrequently used, but it can aid you in a tool also that might have been left out in the sun or closed completely and pressure built inside of a tool and stored. <clears throat> Once the pump is, is plugged in though, as I said, the hose is ready for use and ready to plug into the tool. The tool itself is a combination cutter spreader, has a 14 inch spread and a 9 inch cutter opening. You need to make yourselves aware that the cutter opening doesn't go all the way to the end of the tool. The top two inches of the tool is a spreading or squeezing surface so when you're cutting material with the uh, combi tool you have to keep it in the cutter blade portion of the tool if you want to complete cuts. Um, the tool develops about uh, 7,500 pounds of spread force out here at the tips, so it's a very adequate spreader for removing hinges, um, opening hoods, opening doors, uh, making entry into buildings or vehicle extrication work. Uh, the tool has about 85,000 pounds of cut force, so again it will cut structural parts of the car, hinges, door latches, um, hood latches, burglar bars, um, a, B, C post, things such as that that we normally do extrication on. Um, it's a straight blade cutter, so if you've been used to using a full size cutter or have done training with full um, the uh, NCT cutters that, that your department uses, you'll notice some differences in the cutting and that's just due to this being a straight blade. Um, it doesn't cut round materials quite as well as, it, as a curved blade cutter, so you'll have to learn some techniques um, crushing, making things flat before you cut them but a very adequate auto extrication tool. Um, the cutter itself, as far as your truck checks, would probably, for the most part, be the maintenance on the lights. It has uh, four LED lights in the handle. Uh, there's a switch on the back side of the carry handle. On this switch plate are two screws. You remove those screws and there's a AA battery underneath the switch plate. Uh, if you are out using the tool on a night operation, you have the lights on and the switch won't turn the lights off, that's an indicator that your battery voltage is low and needs to be changed when you get back to the station. Um, check your blades, just check them for you know, uh, bent spots, nicks, uh, any major divots or cracks in the blade. If so, you need to notify maintenance of that. Um, tool control handle is the same on as all the rest of the Homatro tools. Uh, to the right is open. To the left is closed. 
Uh, it's the dead man control handle that all the other tools use, so you let go, all your operation is going to stop. Um, the hose itself, check it every day for, again, nicks, cuts, scratches. Um, you know, check the outside of it for, for any of that, uh, any abrasions. You need to notify maintenance for them to, they can come check on it. Your couplers, just lubricated with uh, any type of, of uh, oil or um, silicone lubricant. Keep them clean with soap and water. The female coupler <clears throat> on the bottom end of the tool. Uh, the dust cap is removed from that. Again, the same as the pump by quarter turn and sliding it toward the hose. The cap will come off. Uh, if this gets used in a muddy situation, clean it out. Soap and water. Relubricate it with some silicone or some type of penetrating oil, and it's ready to go again. To connect the tool, this can be done with the pump running or the pump off. It can be done before you hook the pump to the other end of the hose. There's really no set uh, order to it, but it's just as, as connecting the hose to the pump, line up the couplers and push it together and it will snap in place. You can double check that the collar's locked, um, but it's ready to go. To disconnect, uh, just like the rest of your Homatro systems, there's no need to go back and shut the pump down or interrupt any flow. It's just a quarter turn of the collar that will slide back and it will come apart and you can go connect to the next tool.